welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do great at home! I'm just watching a zombie movie today. And go over today's science file. Could scientists bring a dead body back to life? I'm thinking. Try this. You will need some makeup and some dress clothes. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a headless zombie to see if you can trick your friends into believing zombies are real. All right, you're gonna start by zombifying your head. Some people use white and green face paint, but I'm gonna use brown and black for a more realistic dead look. And then cover your entire face, including your eyes, ears, and neck. Now we're gonna tease your hair by combing your hair up instead of down. Use hairspray to keep your hair this way and finish it off by adding zombie teeth. Next up, mix your brown and black face paint and cover your hands entirely with the mixture. If it's too thick, use some toilet paper to wipe some of it off and make sure to cover your nails as well. Now, add some fake blood to your hands and rub it around the back of your hand. You can also use the fake blood and let it drip down your hands. Let this dry to give your hands a zombified look. Now, grab a shirt that is bigger than you, such as your parent's shirt or a big and tall shirt, and make sure it has buttons on the front. Ladies, get a dress that is bigger than you and cut a hole in the chest. Place a towel inside the top of the shirt or dress. Lift the top of the dress or collar over your head and then button the top two buttons on the collar. Now guys, add a dress jacket over your shirt and a ripped up tie around your neck and leave it untied. Now, drop your head down as far as you can and place your hand under your head. Or if you have long hair, grab the hair on the back of your head to make it look like you're holding your head. And there you have it, a headless zombie. Whoa! So, what does science have to say about zombies? And can you bring a dead body back to life? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Zombies got their popularity when European and North American explorers returned from Africa and told stories of witch doctors bringing people back to life. Although what these explorers really saw were people who had toxins in their body, such as pufferfish toxin, which slows the heart and lung activity way down and paralyzes the body, making people appear dead even though they really are alive. You might think you could come back as an ice zombie by freezing your body with cryonics and waiting for future generations to reanimate you. However, this doesn't work because when a cell freezes, the liquid inside the cell turns to crystals and punctures the cell membrane. When you thaw these cells out, the crystals melt and the liquid drains from the cells and the cells die. Scientists in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania have been able to drain dogs of all their blood. They then replaced the dog's blood with a saline solution and cooled the dog's bodies down to 5 degrees Celsius for 4 hours. Although a doctor will tell you those dogs were dead, doctors are not scientists. Scientists would say those dogs were in suspended animation. They returned the blood back to the dogs, shocked their hearts, reanimating heart, lung, and brain activity. Studying suspended animation in dogs is important to scientists so we can help keep human trauma victims alive. There is no way to bring a dead body back to life once full cellular activity has stopped. So now you know that there's no way to bring a fully dead body back to life. You know, making your own headless zombie. Bring it home! And life science is so cool. Oh.